Hi guys, so in this video we're going to have a look at how we can work with auto lip syncing when using an After Effects in a different language. So it has been brought to our attention that some people were having a problem using this using this with a foreign language of After Effects. So in here I have my After Effects opened in a in a French version. We have made an update to the project so that it works properly with this. So make sure to download the latest update of the toolkit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I normally do exactly. So follow the last video to see how you can do lip syncing. Then I'm just going to do one thing slightly different. So, so we will see in this video. So simply drag and drop my audio file right over here. Now go to the head studio and I'm going to drag and drop my audio file right over there. So of course now you will need to select the audio that you would like to to lip sync. So I'm going to select a part that has some uh, that has some voice in it. Uh, something that has some, as you can see in here. So that's good. Now, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply select the part that I want to lip sync. So if you'd like to lip sync for four seconds, you're simply going to give it this four seconds. If you're going to want five seconds, you give it this five second, etc. And now what you're going to do is you're going to right click and from here, go to convert audio to keyframes in here. It would be different depending on your language, of course. In my case, it's in French. So click that. And as you can see, you will immediately get this new layer in here that it creates for you. So this layer is named audio amplitude, but of course it will be different depending on your, on your language. So once that is done, you can go to the effect controls and go to the head animation suite. And from here, from auto lip sync, you're going to go over this and from off, select the audio amplitude layer. Now, of course, if you are not losing lip syncing, make sure to always switch this back to off. So I'm going to select the audio amplitude layer. And basically this is the difference that you're going to do when you are using a foreign language. So as you can see, you have an error in here. Don't worry about this. All you need to do is go to that newly created layer, the audio amplitude layer, find the last effect from the effect controls in here. So this is named, should be named both channels in English. It will be different depending on your language, of course. So all we need to do is we need to rename this to both channels so that After Effects would know what, what that is basically. So I'm going to hit enter in there to, to rename it and type in both channels. Make sure that it is written exactly like this. So both channels exactly like this. And as you can see immediately, the error has been removed. Now I'm going to go to the head animation suite once again, turn on auto lip sync and do exactly the same thing that I, I did in the other video when lip syncing a character. So as you can see, if I preview it now, it is working correctly. So that's basically it. I hope you enjoy using the toolkit. And if you have an After Effects in a foreign language, all you need to do is follow this step in here to, to make it work with, with your version. Thank you very much.